Welcome to Tech Resources with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert CSV file into the JSON file with hierarchy and array using a data flow in Azure Data Factory. So see right there, we have ID, first name, last name, age, skill one, skill two, and skill three. And uh, this data is the CSV, common delimited data. We would like to convert uh, to the JSON in uh, some specific format where we have ID, then we will have age, then we'll have an object uh, called info, and uh, that includes first name and last name. Then uh, for the list of the skills, uh, we would like to create an array called the skill array, and uh, that should be array. So whatever the values are present, they should be shown here. Then second record shows right there. So this is a, how you would like to transform your CSV into the JSON. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can perform this in the Azure Data Factory data flow task or activity. First of all, you will be going to the data flows in a, um, sorry, let me show you actually the source file here in the input folder. So it's called sample CSV and it has two records only. So same records what I showed you on the uh, snapshot uh, in the paint. So now we go to Azure Data Factory here, we will create a new data flow. And in the data flow, we are going to add a source and then read the data from our CSV. So it is in blob storage input container. So select CSV, then we create a new link service, or there are already linked services I have created to the same blob storage. So use that one and then navigate to the input container, sample file, and hit OK. First row has header yes, and then we hit OK. Now our data is ready and uh, what we need to do next, uh, we are gonna go and add a drive column. So we add drive column and here we'll go to the add a new column. Now we'll be adding a uh, hierarchy and uh, I'm going to create info uh, objects here. Go to the expression builder and uh, in the info, you can, can create uh, or add uh, multiple sub columns. Here under the info, I'm gonna click right there and add sub column. If you remember that uh, our first uh, uh, column uh, or key value was the uh, first name. Uh, so I'm going to map to the this and then I'm going to go for the second column and that was the last uh, L name. So I'm going to use that one here and then map to the incoming uh, column L name. Now this is all good. Uh, what we need to do next, uh, we need to create uh, an array of uh, values. Uh, so if you see right there, skill array, Computer science, writing, video editing, these three values are coming from skill one, skill two, and skill three. Let's go back here and then we create a new column. So we created a new column and we are given this name, skill array. So now that's the name is given. And what we have to do here, we can use a, a function called array. And uh, what that can do for us, uh, that can put all those items together. So here in the array, I'm gonna select uh, the skill one first, then comma skill two, then comma skill three. So this array will be consisting of these values. Now we hit save here and then save and finish. Uh, let's see what is the, this is parsing issue. Let me go back to the expressions and uh, click on, okay. So first name was not mapped correctly. L name is uh, good. Yeah, so this looks good and hit save and finish. Now we can preview the data if we want. So it's gonna show us those two new, newly added items we did info and skill array. Our preview is ready and here you can see that object that has first name and last name and then we have skill array. If we click right there, it's gonna show us all those three values or sometime two values or whatever the values are present. See right there, there's a skill array three is blank because there is no value for a our skill three for second record. Now we can write this data to this sync and I'm gonna find a sync here and then we'll create a data set and blob storage and we will go to the JSON type and here we'll use the link service and I go to the output container and then we are gonna hit okay. Now hit okay and then go to settings. In the settings you will be writing to the single file here we will be providing the name of the file. So let's uh, do uh, CSV to JSON hierarchical array. It's a hierarchy and array. So it's a kind of mix of it. So you got the idea from the snapshot what exactly I'm doing here. 
uh, you can create sub hierarchies and all that uh, by using the same adding sub columns and all that in the drive column as I showed you. Go to mapping and here uh, we will not be using auto mapping. We'll be using uh, uh, the mapping we would like to do because uh, I'm disabling auto mapping, delete the columns that I don't need and then leave the items that I need. So I'm deleting all those. Uh, so we are left with ID, we are left with age and this is info. One of the item you see here, I will suggest uh, click right there and go all the way and uh, select uh, the skill array from here. So I was getting this error sometime if uh, I don't do all the way and see it is a skill array, that's where it should show. So you can do that as well. Uh, now we are all set, uh, it's called Dataflow 1, that's fine. And uh, I can go to the new pipeline here and then uh, drag Dataflow 1 here. Now we can execute our pipeline and it should create uh, the output file. It went into the progress uh, and uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to just wait for a couple of four more seconds uh, and it should be done uh, with success, uh, hopefully. Sometimes you have some problems, uh, so it did complete with success. Uh, so let's go to the output folder here and then see what we have there. So let's uh, go to the output container. In the output container, uh, what we have here, we have this uh, JSON H array, and that's our file name. So we open it, and we can see that we have ID, and uh, then uh, uh, we have uh, right there age, then we have info object right there, and that has our first name and last name. Then uh, we have a skill array, and then skill array has all those values right there. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So we have second record and uh, that follow the same format. Uh, so these uh, files are created and uh, this is exactly what we wanted to create. Uh, the goal was to show you how you can play with the creating uh, objects inside uh, and then also create the arrays. Uh, each of the company has its own different format the way they want to create the JSON. Uh, but uh, you got the idea you will be using drive column to create these uh, objects like this and even you can go further and create sub objects under it if you wanted by adding a sub columns and if you need to create an array here you can always use a array function there to put the values together i hope this video will help thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video